So three, we three are accidental producers. <laughs> That's okay. Keep going. <laughs> we, are, we are literally accidental producers because we became producers by accident. It was never in, a, in our uh, thought or process that we will ever think we will we will ever uh, produce a movie or we will ever make a company like three people productions in which we three will partner out of which i had never met priya or known her since till we became partners <laughs> so yeah but it's a it's a long story that came all along with covid and uh, that's the best thing that's come out of covid i think for us <laughs> So there is a funny story attached to how we became accidental producers. This team that we do theatre with, because we run a theatre company, and this team that we do theatre with during the pandemic, because obviously physical theatre couldn't be done, there were no plays, no workshops, we were all in lockdown. So they had all the time in the world to work on projects which they normally don't have time for. And they had told us some years ago that their dream is to make films. And that time, very casually, Nina and I had just told them that, oh, if you want to make films, just reach out to us, tell us what you're doing, and we'd love to support you in whatever ways you want. So, lo and behold, one day, the team comes in, and uh, they say, we have a story, and we want to make a movie. So, we said, what do you want from us? And they said that we're looking for a producer. You have a lot of contacts, uh, the two of you have a lot of contacts. Can you introduce us to somebody who would support us, who would partner with us and who would produce our film? So we said, okay, tell us what your film is about. At that point, the filmmaker had four lines of the story and that's it. Mm. He told us four lines in our home and we very sweetly... Yeah, and then um, he just told us one thing that I you just connect me to people who have the sensibilities like this who are inclined towards art who would support us with the project so think of somebody who can partner with us as Sushitra said and so, uh, the, the, the lines that he said just impacted both of us we gave him two names of people whom he should approach as producers and we very sweetly said we'll connect you tomorrow with them so that was the conversation and he left our home we both were still sitting in the drawing room and suddenly the penny dropped. We both looked at each other and said, why are we passing this on to somebody else? Shall we just produce it? And next thing we called him up, he was on his bike driving somewhere. We said, um, can we produce your film for you? And he said, that is actually what I wanted, but I didn't want to ask you outright. So I kind of asked in a more polite manner, can you introduce us? So we said, great, okay, we'll produce your film. So that was a conversation and that was it. The next morning, uh, Nina and I started Googling role <laughs> of a producer because we didn't know what a producer does. And then we discovered that there is a big role of a producer and that there is serious responsibilities that come with it. We anyway had committed and the film went, started rolling. The first schedule got shot, everything got done. And then they came back for the second schedule where the next amount of investment had to be put in. At that point, we were discussing between us, do we only put the second um, investment or do we invite one investor to join us in the ride? So this is just a question we were thinking about. And Priya, who is my childhood friend, and she and I talk every day between US and India, so happened to just just share that, you know, this is something Nina and I are thinking of. We're not sure who will invite, etc., etc. Um, and also till this time, Priya was, of course, obviously totally updated with what was happening in the movie, what was perceived, what was going on, what it is like. And they had already discussed the whole first schedule and things that were rolling on. So she was quite up to date as to what was happening. But the funny thing was that in that conversation, when I happened to just tell her that we are looking for an investor or we are thinking about inviting somebody, I did not have the slightest thought in my mind that she would join. It was not even a thought in my head. She's just my dearest friend and I'm sharing it with my friend. You're, I'm just thinking aloud. So she comes back to me in that conversation saying, hi, Mon, I've got to go have lunch with my husband. I'll call you back in half an hour. Okay, I didn't think anything of it. 30 minutes later, she calls back saying, guess what? 
was talking to my husband about what you said and he said why don't you go join them and you become their partner and you join in producing this film i'm like are you serious and she's like yeah so if you would have me i'll join in and it was just surreal and i was like okay i would say yes but i do have a partner and my partner doesn't know you you don't know my partner so how is this going to work i said let me talk to nina let me get back to you i just called up nina and nina just said yeah all right that's fine let's all three be partners and let's be producers and i asked her you don't know her so she says yeah but you know her right similarly when i asked priya priya says yeah but you know her right and then we had our first video call, call when i formally introduced two people who had already said that they will be partners in a company and that's no, how even, we had truly even the company had not actually uh, we hadn't was, formed it yeah, yet it had not formed the company by then the company came to existence when we went to the ca about account accounting the you know after finishing the first schedule now how do we account right. it I said you can't do it on a personal this thing, and then you invite. You can't just put partner. your money into something and like you that. You can't just keep putting. You have to make a company. You have to <laughs> form a, you know, a certain entity. In, yeah, entity. And then we go and we Google. Okay, what is an LLC versus an LLP, and how do you form a company with a limited liability? And then we go back and again regroup and figure out how to do it. And and then of things course. just um, kind of grew from there. Truly. And every every day there was some new uh, learning some growth and our company kind of seamlessly got actually it just came together without any conscious plan or conscious design and uh, yes on 16th february after a lot of contemplation of name that we should call a company yeah and we had brainstorming yes. and then we loved one name one word spoke to all three of us we each had very strong emotional connections with uh, the name and then that's how three people productions got formed taking its significance and inspiration from the people tree um the people tree as you would probably know is very very endemic to the indian subcontinent and the stories that we want to bring on screen are only rooted in the indian ethos and we are very proud of being indian and belonging to this subcontinent and these Absolutely. are the stories we would like to bring to the screen so the name spoke to us that the people tree signifies the indian subcontinent um of course the word people is a play so people think it is three three people, of us and that is fine and three because i mean apart from the obvious Three is a very powerful um, number. It has a lot of uh, significance, significance religious and spiritual significance, and so yes. And three people. That's it. Productions came along. Yeah. Yeah. We have just been very fortunate to be associated with some of the most nice people you could meet in an industry which is not known for people to be nice. we have just been really blessed to uh, associate with everyone who has brought in selflessly their talent their energies and um, really worked with us with while knowing that we ourselves are kind of fumbling along the way having said that while we may be fumbling with the process and learning along the way we are very clear and we are very sure about where we want to go we're very clear that we want to work with people who want to tell a meaningful story we are clear that we want to only work with people who have something um to share that will benefit the large uh, population and people at large and we want to change the way people think about some very set norms and behavioral patterns which is why we chose the themes and the stories that we have chosen um we hope to go forward with that and bring people along with us and we really want to grow uh, slowly and steadily while we uh, increase our presence and at the same time be faithful to our ideas as well as our uh, conviction that we want to tell real stories we want to tell stories that belong to the indian ethos as suchitra said very rightly and uh, 
along the way also tell stories, hopefully bring more women together.